Hey folks, welcome back to Green Iron TV. It's the 4th of July, and uh, although we don't have any local parades right here to take the vehicles to, uh, we are gonna put them out on a static display. Uh, put them out, and uh, we do live in a big high tourism area, uh, so I put out a display every year of the vehicles, and usually get a ton of people stopping by, taking pictures, and uh, checking the vehicles out. So we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, vehicles all ready, and uh, get them out there on display here this morning and leave them out there for the whole 4th of July. Uh, one of the first things we're going to do, we're going to show you a little bit around the vehicles and uh, how we set them up for display. So that's what's coming up on this episode of Green Iron TV. So make sure you hit a like, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We appreciate every little bit. Thanks. Have a good morning. Okay, one of the things I get asked about all the time is my display set up in the 715. So as I get ready for a static display here for the 4th of July, uh, since I am not going to be in any parades, uh, I'll give you a little walk around of how I set the truck up for static displays. So right off the bat, you can see that we have three mannequins. Uh, we like to joke, call them Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Uh, and, uh, each are you know outfitted fully with all gear you know the truck is a 1967 truck so we try and uh, outfit everybody in period gear uh, including uniforms flak jackets helmets items like that that uh, would commonly commonly be seen on soldiers around this time uh, one of the things i always like to do is fold down the windshield and then uh, we have these fake sandbags that we lay across as a buffer. Um, these are filled with styrofoam peanuts and then have a magnet in the bottom to help them hold to the truck. Uh, makes it nice and easy. It's easy to maneuver them around. They don't weigh a whole lot. And, uh, but they still puff out and look good like a sandbag. So we have our driver. And uh, so he's in a uh, shoulder holster with the venerable uh, M1911 pistol. Because he is a driver, he would not often have a rifle. In his flak jacket, in his correct M1 helmet, uh, we got a cigarette pack tucked in his helmet band there for him. He's got a little entertainment there with uh, Playboy. And we have a old transistor radio. Uh, we have it gutted and with an MP3 player with a Bluetooth speaker in it uh, so we can play tunes. Uh, we have a bunch of the old uh, AFVN Armed Forces Vietnam jingles and little PSAs. Uh, I would play that, but we, you know, no youtube would have a fit about uh you know music and copyrights so we'll leave that off for the moment we'll move back here to our 50 gunner so we have our 50 gunner up here hanging onto our big mod deuce 50 cal he is hooked in to the prc 77 radio pack here with headphones and a mic same thing, all period uniforms. And we got, you know, webbing with smoke canisters, grenades, ammo pouches. Uh, he is wearing his flak vest, his M1 helmet, entrenching tool, butt pack. Uh, also on the side of the truck we here we have a um, lightweight jungle rat pack um, all loaded up we usually leave this on the truck for most of the summer uh, makes a nice display piece as it's driving around it's got a poncho liner rolled up entrenching tool bayonet some canteens some smoke grenades some stuff like that just to fill it up and make it look good Spare ammo cans, um, 
We have a cool box. This came from one of my good buddies who was a uh, tank commander. And uh, this was a box that uh, he had over in Germany. And uh, somehow it made it back with all his stuff. And he uh, gifted it to me to put in the truck because he knew uh, I had all this stuff. So it, it was weapons cleaning equipment for uh, for a um, Sheridan tank. And uh, we keep it in here now as uh, cleaning equipment uh, that we keep out of sight, but keep in a nice uh, military case. This side we have an Arvin backpack. Uh, this was commonly worn with special forces types of guys because it was lightweight, uh, nondescript, and uh, carried enough stuff that they needed for, for patrols. We got the same thing outfitted with an entrenching tool and bayonet and canteens and all the good stuff like that. Another look around this side of our 50 gunner. So you can see the M56 uh, canvas uh, gear he's wearing uh, with the pouches. Uh, he is wearing um, the somewhat rare Davis buckle belt. I uh, was able to locate one of those and uh, thought it would be fitting to stick them on. And of course, you know, we have a couple bandoliers hanging out here on the sides. We have our passenger or our 60 gunner. So same thing, off outfitted in period correct clothing. Period correct M56 web gear. Helmet, some bug spray, you know, beer tab, his, his can opener, cool Ray-Bans. Just giving that good look. Uh, we have him holding on to the, uh, this is an Airsoft a &K M60 that we showed in the other video before uh, for display. So same thing, we have it sitting here up on the sandbags. Gives him a good uh, look there, looking out towards the front of the vehicle. Um, we keep that M16 on the dash. That is a Airsoft M16 replica as well. So, all in all, gives us a nice display, gives us a nice view. And when we have it set up at shows and events, uh, it just gives that truck a good lived in look. To uh, makes it look like, uh, you know, these guys are actually out on uh, security patrol, maybe protecting the fence line, uh, you know, something cool like that. So just gives it that good look. Um, you know, just adds that little bit of life to a display. Uh, a lot of times when I go to some of these big displays, you know, the trucks are beautiful and stuff like that, but you know, this just gives it that extra little punch of, uh, of life and uh, helps make this, the display look really sharp. So uh, let me know what you think. You know, leave some comments. Tell me if you like the display, uh, things you would add, things you would take away. Let me know. I'm open to all kinds of stuff. You know, we also have, depending on the type of show, um, you know, we'll display things like the restoration book, um, we'll display, you know, previous awards, uh, you know, some other little fun things like that around the truck as well. So all in all, we have fun with it and, uh, you know, try and take it to a lot of displays. So tomorrow is the 4th of July. So we are going to have the truck out on a static display with a handful of the rest of my trucks. And, uh, we'll show you that here coming up in a little bit.
Okay, we have the static display all set up here for the 4th of July. We got our flags are flying. All the uh, mannequins set up. And uh, the vehicles all situated out with all their accessories. So, this is what it looks like. So we are situated on a busy road here in a high tourist area. So uh, this will make for a good display for the 4th of July. And uh, a lot of people usually appreciate it as they drive by. So Okay folks, that's going to wrap up our static display here on the 4th of July. We had all the vehicles out, American flags flying, showing our American pride. And uh, a lot of people stopped, a lot of honks, a lot of people stopping to take pictures, look at the vehicles. So all in all, good success. So we hope everyone had a nice, happy and safe 4th of July, Independence Day. Um, and you were able to enjoy it with your family and friends as best you could. So until then, we uh, hope you uh, give us a like, leave a comment. Hey, leave a comment. Tell me what you did for the 4th of July. And uh, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We appreciate every little bit of it. And until then, stay tuned. There's always more Green Iron TV coming up soon. So have a good holiday.